Welcome once again to the Earthborn Games Playcast. I'm Anders, this is Evan, Andrew, Andrew, Fisher, <laughs> Navarro. Um, so we're, we're back again. It's been about a week or two. And, uh, <laughs> and we just happen to be wearing all the same clothes. Yes. I never took them off. <laughs> yeah, I never wear it. Yeah. Uh. It's my good luck show. Um, we're continuing on our uh, playthrough of the game. And uh, just as a... I just want to remind you all, this is my first go at anything like this. So if you can tell that I'm kind of struggling, just remember that it's not the game's fault, it's my fault. Okay? <laughs> um, You're doing great. You're doing great. Thank yeah, you, you are thank doing you. great. I'm, I'm seriously just like, God damn it, I don't know what to do next. Um, but I'm loving it anyway. I can't wait till I, it like sinks in and I can really, really love it. But just stick with us. And I hope you're having fun watching. And Evan, will you like remind them where we were? Yeah, so we're uh, attempting to deliver biscuits from your basket um, to the people around uh, White Sky, which is a, um, it's not really floating, but it's a, it's a settlement that's off the coast in the water of White Sky Lake. And we're just traveling along, encountering the denizens of that area and handing out biscuits. We have already done that with Artel and um, Elder Murtok. And we took on some missions. We're going to help Artel. We've decided to help Murtok by hunting down some elusive predator that's been um, wiping out or causing a scare. Uh, and my character got pulled in underwater uh, last episode, and I struggled <laughs> for my life. And it may happen again. It might happen to both of us. Mm -hmm. And that's we just have danger. to find out. Yeah, um, you're, you're being threatened by the carnivorous naiad, yeah. which is like sentient carnivorous lake weed <laughs> sentient wow yet we can't connect with it yeah unfortunately mm. i think it's more i don't know if it's if it's fully sentient, sentient. Yeah, yeah that's more fair. like it's more impu impulsive yeah yeah i was gonna say instinctual, instinctual. yeah, yeah uh, that's fair now you all are saying sentient is that the proper i don't know okay <laughs> what was you how was you yeah, saying? yeah what's that I, I would say sentient, sentient. Oh. i would say sentient yeah I mean, I say bagel, so don't ask me how to pronounce things. <laughs> Wait, the bagel. Ba bagel is how like all the Minnesotans yeah, bagel. say. Bagel. Oh. Bagel. bagel. I hope bagel. I'll say it like that. <laughs> bagel. I guess bagel. Bagel. Bag. I say bagel. Wait, is that, is that the wrong way? I think yours is bagel. bagel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I say beagle. <laughs> well, we had a little, um, I don't know. We kind of were talking, we're strategizing about what to do here because it's pretty mm -hmm. tricky, so I think... I think what we established or agreed upon is we're just going to try to um, both get our tackle this stream and, and resolve it and hopefully profit and not get pulled underwater. Well, you're going to have a complication because if we ended the last round, last uh, session at the end of the round, so we need to end the round and draw some more cards. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We, right. Did we drop cards or did so, we only um, recover energy? You just recovered energy, so make sure to draw a ranger card. Okay. Add it to your hand. And then we're starting the new round, so you're each going to draw a path card. So this may uh, disrupt your plans a little. We'll see. We're also going to add one cloud in the sun. That's not bad. It's the tidewater moment. Yeah, you knew yeah. that was there. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I, um... Ooh, the romping lut 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 Lutronel. Yeah. Romping around. So it has ambush, so you're going to immediately suffer a fatigue because, it, oh. uh, because of ambush as it jumps out at you. So when you draw a card, are we looking at that right away? That's, that's my flow of mm -hmm. looking yeah. at the Well, first you look up here to see which it zone goes. it's placed in. If it has an arrow mm -hmm. pointing down, it's going to be in within reach. If it's pointing up, you'll put it uh, along the way. So it's pointing down, you put it there. Then you look to see here if it has any come into play effects. It does, as ambush. So you're going to take one fatigue based on its presence. Oh, okay. Face up. Face down. Face down. Or face down, sorry, yeah. Okay. The other, the opposite. The other, <laughs> the other left. Okay, okay. He was just stating what the card was. <laughs> yes, right. It is face up. It should be face, face down. up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so a little complication, but not too bad. So you you, bad. you said Evan that you, your guys' plan is to just tackle the stream and get rid of the yeah. obstacle as quick as possible. And should I eat my biscuit? I mean, you could do that. Yeah. Those are for the people of White Sky, Anders. Well, I could sneak one for myself. You could, but you should soothe three fatigues. So you should at least wait until you have a little bit more. I, I, those are my it. hand, right? Yeah. Yeah, that that made yeah, it worth yeah. it for sure. Cool, cool, cool. I'd probably if I had the basket, I'd probably because I got three fatigue. Right. Okay. Um, 
So you're gonna just eat them. So I'm welcoming oh, fatigue. Yeah. I'm kind of welcoming fatigue in a way. <laughs> totally. If you plan on stealing yeah. that biscuit, there's so many ways you guys can see fatigue do, right now. I there's these try muggets. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that on my turn. There's a tributary stream. I kind of want to just stay focused, but it's, <laughs> it's pretty necessary. It's pretty tempting. Yeah, but you can do that here. Is it the same amount of fatigue equal to your effort? It could be more. This is a hard number right here, too. I may not get to with an attempt made here. I mean, you're going to have to, otherwise you won't pass the test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, well, do you have anything you want to do pressing? No. Because I can... I have a question. So yeah. you, can, you can just kind of bypass these because you wouldn't even yeah. take anything? You got it. Okay. They're in the water. Just some lake weed and... <laughs> Muscles. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just try to pry this off. All right. Fitness test. All right. So do it. I'll commit the tea kit and uh, let's do one. See what happens. Because there's no, I don't have to hit a threshold, right? It's just, just a, yeah. So if it doesn't list a number, it's difficulty one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to get so bad. I hate this area. <laughs> All right, so okay. first. <laughs> oh, no. Suffer a fatigue. Yeah. <laughs> Suffer a fatigue. That's, that's what you get for string from, from, uh, from your plan. All right, so that and then this. Um, the ranger with the most fatigue must discard one awareness. Oh, at least I have it this yeah, time. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, awareness hasn't done much for me anyway, so. Um, if there's an exhausted predator, ready it. No, nope. there's not. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> Slippery muckets. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, Anders, you're up. Okay, I'm going to um, traverse this romping lutronol. So you won't be able to traverse it because it's a being, but you can oh. connect with it if you'd like to. Oh, put, connect is what um, I meant. Okay. Yeah, totally. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, ugh, wait, what is the... Talk amongst yourself. I want to see what this is. The <laughs> well, intention a... translator. Let's, oh, yeah. Do I want this out or any, at all? You might. When a ranger performs a connect test, oh, yeah. commit one effort. That would be really helpful for you. So if you just pay one focus to put it out... Then you get three tokens on there. You can spend a token mm. and exhaust the card to add. It's like yeah, basically adding energy. That sounds great. I like the sounds of that. All right, so you spend uh, nice. the, the blue ones, the focus. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. And then uh, grab a, one of the black dice and just uh, throw a three on there. Do they make spin down D6s? It would be so much easier to use these as tokens if they were... I guess, like, there's not much spinning. It's a cube, but... Yeah, I don't there's, like, know. There's dial dice and stuff people have made. Oh, yeah. About spin down. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead, Evan. Okay. Um, God. I could just try one more time. There. I love how you just completely abandoned <laughs> your plan. I know. <laughs> Fixated. <laughs> the muckets yeah. look so tasty. I know. I know. It's a problem. <laughs> what happens if you draw another sun? I'm very the, focused. What, what happens if you draw another sun and that naiad asks you to discard another awareness? I know. What are you going to do, Evan? <laughs> I, I'll I will, throw my uh, greaves at it. I, would, I will uh, play the voice of your of your reason, where you guys just agreed to focus on the true yeah, stream. Yeah, yeah. And right. you both decided to not do that <laughs> immediately. There's well, too much going to, on. don't have to get through. You can just go right through it. Just take the fatigue. Oh, take the fatigue. Take the fatigue. Take the fatigue. Yeah. I forgot about that. And you that. can immediately soothe it. I'm learning things by yeah. doing it this you way. It. I'm learning how to do gear and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to do another risky play then. Um, and I'm going to try to, I'm going to approach this uh, with... Well, you don't this. get to move to it yet. Yeah, no, okay, yeah. okay. First, first you got to... I'm, very po I'm thinking very test. positive. Yeah, yeah, you're I trying like to it. manifest. <laughs> like yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just going to wing it with two spirit. Oh, that's a... All right. <laughs> Oh, oh, Evan, oh. Evan. <laughs> okay. Does anything bad happen if I fail? You're going to make this a short episode for us, Evan. No, <laughs> nothing bad happens. Oh, man. You do get the mountain effects. Anything happens down here. No predator. 
No luchinol. If there's a romping luchinol within reach, does that count over there? Are no. you sure there's no active predator? Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Predator. Exhaust. Um, add harm to this being equal to that predator's presence. Okay, well. Harm. What? Yeah. Harm? Yep, so it's gone. Oh, it's gone, yeah. Of course. Cool. Well, there you go, though. Right, well, now that thing's exhausted. Hey, that's cool. Can't grab you yeah. this round. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, now I'm going out. to uh, go after that bad boy with this. Going to try to connect with it? But but I... I Why would you do that? Yeah, I kind of want to take the harm. <laughs> yes, you want to take the fatigue. Fatigue, I mean. Yes, I'll take the fatigue. And then... The, Andrew is... Uh, yeah, thank Calypso you. whispering from the book. Yeah. <laughs> I knew, I knew that's what I wanted roll. to do. Don't to... do it! <laughs> you know, they did such a good job of like deciding the, the course of action. So I'm just trying to like, yeah. you know, like bring you back to the, to the mission. Right, Remember right. what you guys decided that's, it was a good plan. It's it was like a good every plan. game I play, I have this plan. And then once once I'm thrown into the, the midst of the activity, I just totally lose the script. And I'm, I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> Earthborn Rangers, not for those with ADD. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm struggling so much. Okay, um, so then my approach to getting the my token there, I can choose between these two. Yeah, yes. either one. But you yeah. can't do I this, can't do this focus, one because you're gonna throw a sip. That's the one you want. But I need two. I need two to get there. I think. I think I'll just do all three. Yeah, yeah. No, that's the stuff. Yeah, all in. Minus one, two. Let's go. There we go. Yeah, it's good you went did three. Yeah. And then you uh, soothe some fatigue, right? Yeah. Oh, equal to your effort. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So three, two, two. This is the minus one. All right, 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 right. Perfect. Okay. All right. And then mountain. Awesome. Is there any mountain? Uh, there's one on your lutronol. What does that there's say? There's an active predator other than a robbing lutronol exhausted. Nope. Oh, that's right, because the Nyad's already exhausted. All right, Evan, you're up. <laughs> Good <laughs> job. You said it so forlorn. Good job. <laughs> All right, Evan. <laughs> All right, Evan. <laughs> uh, what can I do? I don't know. The buckets this are is, gone. This is yeah. not even a threat anymore, right? The, 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 the Nyad ate your buckets for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I can... Yeah, I know. I, I could remember my training. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh, that. <laughs> That's good stuff. The plan. Yes, the remember plan. Remember the plan? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Man. All right. Well, maybe I'll commit as much effort as Anders did. Yeah, there you go. And... I can't really add any approach icons. You got so. it. You got it. Hey. Let's go. Hey. Okay. I'm there. Um, add progress to the location. Just one progress. Well, it's better than nothing, right? Yeah. And the stream will clear. Nice. So then we just go back. Yep. yep. So there's that. And then this goes away. Nice. Oh. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, and the sun. Oh, no. Suffer one fatigue. It's very hot. That, yeah, that hasn't happened for you yet. <laughs> Finding all the shady spots. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now I want to search, right? Do I want to search for a, a person? Well, what? Are, yeah. What are your goals here? What are you like? What are you trying to I do? I want to get the biscuit out. That's okay. That's a good point. So yeah, um, finding another person at White Sky is probably a good way. Mm -hmm. If you're, you know, if you're not going to just eat it yourself. I don't need it myself. All right. I'm I proud of you. I want to share. <laughs> I want to share. Okay, so I just need to play some awareness. You will suffer another fatigue from that Lutronol, but Evan's way ahead of you. His deck's like <laughs> half your size, so... Don't worry. Yeah, yeah you, you can take some fatigue, Do I, I think. keep fatiguing? Yeah, like yeah, to, no. Fisher's, to Fisher's point, so as soon as one of you becomes fatigued out, it's over. So okay. it doesn't really matter. So Tito's like, yeah. just exhausting you. Yeah, Evan's okay. already got it. He's got a head start on your hair. Pretty, pretty good chunk. I'm doing all right. Yeah. So anyway, to Fisher's point, you have you have fatigue to spare right now. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fatigue. And uh, so, why would I play more than one? Well, uh, read the read the effect of the test. Um, search the shores beside the tower of Parasol White Sky to scout path cards equal to your effort. Okay. So the better you okay. do, the more cards you get to look at. So it's pretty good if you're looking for somebody specific. It's pretty good to like scout a ton of cards because then yeah. you can like really search around for them and get rid of like more carnivorous naiads or whatever else horrible <laughs> yeah, might jump yeah, out at yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, do I want to use one of these? 
spoilers. There's only one carnivorous naiads. Well, see what I'm looking at. They're already saying. But there's only <laughs> also only one. I'll show you what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this ancestral teachings, which seems pretty useful. I have two of those. I don't know if I want to use it for that purpose or hold on to it. These are the choices one must make. Yeah, I kind of I kind of like the sounds of that card, so I'm gonna hold on to it, and I'm just gonna play two. All right. Uh, minus one. So we got one. Oh, yeah, one. just one. Just one. Oh, other, other, other deck. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then can I put on the bottom and draw yep. one? You can. Yeah. What did you see? <laughs> I saw the uh, fresh blue kelp weed. Oh, uh, okay. You already got some of that. <laughs> so when I draw this, I have to put it into play. You oh, do. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> oh, boy. Well, that's. Like I have you. these bad. I have these. Uh, All right. So it ambushes you, so you suffer another ancestral. fatigue. <laughs> Special teachings. And then uh, just to warn you, when there's multiple Lutronals, they it's worse. They get a little feisty and they get a little dangerous. So, yeah. so then you'll have the <laughs> crest effects. What's this on here? If there are two active predators, exhaust them. Oh, and then... So these two? Yeah. Oh. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then what? What is the next predator? Return one set-aside prey to the collection. So if we would have had... It, um, we're trying to collect prey to achieve that mission. And to get prey over there, do we have to clear them? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. cool. So if we would have start, if we would have spent the time to col collect them over there, we would have lost one, I think. Oh, actually, uh, the, yeah. the tidewater muckets would have been there, so they get discarded. Oh yeah, oh, they should have been. Yeah, good they call. Have been there, okay. even though they're a present zero. Yeah. Okay, that ends my turn. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that worked out great. Yeah, that saved you. Yeah, that was, that was like cool. the best crest effect ever. That's true. Because <laughs> then, you know, Artel has the same thing. So, like, if, uh, yeah. if these guys hadn't been exhausted. Crest is generally a good thing for you? Bad. Oh, is it? It's usually bad. Oh, okay. But it was good in That's, this case. Yeah. There's not a whole lot I can do. I have one energy for fitness. Um, you can always traverse the location because, well, you might not be want wanting to travel now. Like stacking it up with progress so that you're ready to travel later can be useful. But I could take an injury if I fail, and I'm only committing one. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. I'll do it. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Hey. Hey. Look at that. Oh. I get fatigued again. Thank goodness. So I was equal worried. to my effort. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he has all that fatigue that yeah. he lose. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> all right. We're just egging them into bad decisions. <laughs> Suffer fatigue. Yeah. And that's it. Everything else is exhausted. Yep. So, oops. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what are we trying to do now? Do I want to keep? I can't. You could can put progress on that, on the location if you want with your. Oh right, 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 right. Okay. Traverse it. Traverse that. And is there anything? Just use it all up. So there you go. What else I'm doing? All right. Plus Ooh, one. Ooh, look at oh, that. Man. Cool. Nice. So that puts us all the way, right? Seven. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. And then suns, so you're going to suffer one fatigue. Finally some fatigue. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Finally some fatigue, he says. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you're both out of energy? Yep. All right, so you both rest. So now you, you can travel, if you'd like, to travel away from White Sky. So where can they go from White Sky? <laughs> well, we could go Where there might be people. Yeah, here, pull out the map quick. Um, uh, so from White Sky, you could return to Lone Tree. You could go over to Boulder Field, or you could go up to Mount Nim. Um, I think Artel wanted you, you to go to Golden Shore, yeah. which you can't get to directly from here right now. Um... Lone Tree is going to have people, some of whom we've already met there. Um, other locations do have, you can run into random wanderers in the valley, uh, but they're not quite as common as when you're at pivotal locations. Yeah. Hmm. And our, our, everything is this, the same? Like we don't discard things? or You'll, you'll discard any non-persistent cards within Reacher along the way. So a lot of like that Nyad will go away, which would be a benefit of traveling. Mm -hmm. Sure, but I mean like our equipment will stay. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. oh yeah. Yep. So yeah, the downside of the upside of traveling is you won't have that Nyad to deal with anymore or those Lutrinals. Um mm -hmm. the downside of traveling is it may be harder to find a person in the wilds. 
And I think that person is the mirror. Yeah, you could also take your chances, draw, and if you don't like it, you could just immediately rest again and then travel. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, there's 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 very little downside okay. unless you draw an obstacle. And you could always eat. The yeah, that's true. I guess you could always draw it's an true. obstacle, and then that would. Ruin how many that plan. how many tributary streams have you guys done here? Just one. There's one more in there. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you could draw another tributary stream and get locked here. Hmm. <clears throat> there's no wrong call. Feeling lucky? You want to stay here? Yeah. Look for that final person. Yeah. All right. That feels nice to me. All right. So regen your energy. Draw a ranger card and. Then we're on to the new round to draw a path card. Well, oh yeah, ready all these guys. Ready all everybody. Those guys. Oh yeah, forgot about them. We could just spend our days, the rest of our days, back at Lone Tree where it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Path card. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Evan first. Hey, hey look there at you that. Go. You were right. I knew it. Nice work. How did you I know knew. that? I just you, knew. You didn't scout that deep, right? No. <laughs> you said it like you knew she was on top. Yeah. <laughs> well, there was... I don't know. No, I shuffled it after I looked through the whole thing. I just felt it. 49. Yeah. <laughs> a massive, muscular arm drops over your shoulder, and you find yourself face-to-face -face with a tall woman wearing a thin smile. Hello there, she says. Name's Vera. I make supply runs all over the lake. She sniffs. Something in your bag sure smells good. Mind sharing? Yeah, these people are very, <laughs> very aggressive when it comes to biscuits. <laughs> They're that good. <laughs> it's like, hey. They've just been fishing all day. Yeah, man. Starved for baked goods. So you uh, clear Vera with progress to charter her boat to immediately travel to any location on White Sky Lake. That's perfect. I mean, oh, yeah. we could give her the biscuit and then we could spend some time with her and then travel to Golden, Golden Shore. Shore. That's a great plan. Yeah. So her threshold's a little bit. A little bit bigger than the other one, so take a little more, a little more than a biscuit to get yeah. Vera to. <laughs> Not a mm. lot more than a biscuit. I said a little. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, I I can, I can try to add some progress on, but it's that won't be as effective as you. But um, if I can get two in there and then you give her a biscuit, then we clear. So. Andres does have a couple Lutronols now, so he will be suffering two fatigue to go interact with Vera. Hmm. So you may want to... I don't know. There's a lot of challenge effects on, on his board, though, so given the right draws, all those Lutronol could be exhausted and... That's true. All sorts of things. That is true. That's true. All sorts of things could happen. <laughs> so you wouldn't use... I wouldn't use my cards to exhaust them. Of course, if you draw Crest, then you're just taking injury and... <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Well, not a whole lot I can do, so I'm, I can just try to connect um, with that. See what happens. Okay. Yeah. All right. So two. Nice. Nice. And then the mountain. Um, there's a romping Luchinol within reach now. Not within reach nope. of me. Uh, and that thing happens over there, so, okay. Cool. So how do I give her my biscuit now? Can I just do it? Or you you the, can. Um, yeah, you, you just will, have to take a couple of fatigue. Yeah, the, since you're interacting out to her, you will take two fatigue, one from through. each Luchinol. Yep. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you Maybe could try spirit. to avoid them first, uh, or avoid one of them first to reduce that fatigue, or you could just go for it and take the two fatigue. Mm -hmm. Kind of like your choice as to how you're feeling about the amount of cards in your deck. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just do that. All right. Just gonna give, love it. give her the biscuit. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So to do that, I... So pay your two fatigue toll. Oh, just, there's just a toll. Pay the Lutronol toll. Yep. Pay the Lutronol toll. And Biscuit's gone. Not yet. Well, you got to oh. test. Oh. So so it is a, oh, right. it's a test. difficulty to test. So uh, before you... Oh. just want to put two in? No. No. Changed. Man, you get a lot of cards. Yeah. I'm jealous. I only have four now, I guess. But... 
So I need to hit two for for it to work. Yes. Yeah. Um. Is there anything else I might need spirit for? Uh, I'll just put two. <laughs> Living dangerously. All right. Okay. Is it dangerous? Really That's dangerous? a pretty decent shot, I think. Okay. Yep. Nice. Oh, nice. Wow. Someone's having their favorite biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we. Exhaust that goes. That goes to uh, the card. Kavira. All right, All so right. then you, uh, oh, you clear. Give, yep. What do you do? You give one biscuit? Yep. Oh. All right, oh, we'll right. clear Vera. And see what she has to say. There's also this. This. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. I guess that happens afterwards, maybe? After this entry? Yes. All right, you move down the shore and find Vera cleaning the deck of her longboat. She looks up and sighs. You ready? Mm -hmm. You may immediately end the round and travel to one of the following locations. Lone Tree Station, Golden Shore, or Atrox Mountain. Use the lakefront terrain type when building the path deck. If you choose to travel in this way, discard the current challenge card and do not resolve the remainder of this test. If you choose not to travel, discard beer and resolve the remainder of the test as normal. We should just travel. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Plus, this would have probably done something bad. They're going to trigger so many things. They yeah. are going to trigger a lot of things. <laughs> They're going to complete, like, two missions. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> what yeah. will trigger if, if that happened? Well, if okay. you guys go to Golden Shore, you'll complete Artel's mission. And you're completing the and Biscuit mission. And you're completing the Biscuit mission. Nice. Mm -hmm. And this goes away, right? So it doesn't... If we're choosing to travel with it. Yep, mm -hmm. you're going right now. Good. Let's go. Cool. All right, so you're going to travel? Yeah. All right. What, so, what about this though? We'll we'll resolve that okay. after that. All right. So pull out the uh, pull out the, the old map there. So your options to travel were to Lone Tree Station, to uh, Golden, Golden Shore. Shore, or to Atrox Mountain. Mountain. Golden Shore. Yeah, Golden Shore. Yeah. All right. That seems like the clear yeah. choice. Mm -hmm. And it said to use Lakefront. Right? It did. Okay. So, um, every, anybody who doesn't have Persistent gets cleaned up here. Artel has Persistent from Helping Hand, so stays in play. So we use this Lake uh, Shore set again. And then we are also, because it's a non-pivotal location, we shuffle up the valley set, which has kind of the wanderers of the valley, some other mega predators like Quiet, and some other surprises. And we're going to add three of those to this deck that you might run right. into. Keep these face down. Choose the three. Choose the first one. <laughs> <laughs> As the lead ranger, I will pick the two. Yeah. Finish the duty. All right. The best ones. <laughs> so these get yeah. added in. Too bad we didn't get any uh, prey to help lure out. Mm -hmm. but we could still do that now, I suppose. Yeah, that's a good thing to keep in mind. All right, well, Fisher's getting this ready. I'll read the intro to Golden Shore. Oh, yeah, here we go. Artel nods approvingly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look! That little tucked away spot under those trees. It definitely feels better, don't you think? Nothing spooking the fish around here, I can tell! <laughs> Artel pulls one of several collapsible fishing poles out of a long, conical tube. Here. Never let it be said that I don't pay my debts. Besides, how many vaulting rods does one person need? Whoa. Gain the Artel's vaulting rod reward card. Hey. Discard Artel. Return helping hand of the collection. Record found the perfect fishing spot on the campaign tracker. Nice. So you can put found the perfect fishing spot and then Andres, if you want to grab that big pile of cards there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, careful, they're a little slippery with the sleeves. Explode. Explode. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you um, unlock this reward card. So this is another ranger card that you'll be able to add to your decks. Um, if you camp for the for, for the night, so if you end the day with traveling to a new location, you can choose to just 
end the day in camp, in which case at camp you can customize your decks and uh, you guys can swap this in. Put it up here in the yeah. reward card spot for now. And thankfully we both can equip that because we both have enough fitness. So that's cool. Nice. Well, it's just one fit. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, lastly, uh, before we get set up, do you want to also read? Yep. Now we'll do the biscuit basket. What uh, entry does it say there? 1.02. 1.02. Yeah, if it's a video game, I can just see all these little notifications <laughs> bling, bling. flying off. <clears throat> Let's see, if the Rangers have no biscuits on their roll cards, go to 102A. No one ate a biscuit. Nope. No. With an empty basket, you continue down the path until you come across Calypso and Cal, resting beside a bubbling stream. Calypso gestures toward the basket. How'd it go? She asks. You tell her of the people you met in your travels today and how each was appreciative of High Pimpot's bakery. Flips the stands and makes a show of studying you closely. And no crumbs. I'm impressed. <laughs> Cal, I believe this settles our bet. He figured you would have snuck a few for yourself. Of course he did. <laughs> Cal looks at you suspiciously. You need to learn a level little. He says. Oh, can't win with this guy. <laughs> uh, Cal, you hot asshole. <laughs> Complete the biscuit delivery mission and return the biscuit basket to the collection. Each ranger soothes to fatigue. Mm. Then go to 1.03. Excellent. <clears throat> I'll let you settle in with your Ooh, new cards. My trowel. Oh, you got your trowel? Hey. <laughs> your trowel. Let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. From down the path comes the sound of melodic whistling. Before long, a man wearing many layers of cloaks and walking with the aid of an ornate conduit follows. As he passes, he tips his wide brim hat in your direction. Good day to you, friends. Good day, Master Ale, Calypso replies. Lone trees, hanging gardens are thirsty. They'll be grateful for some rain. Fear not, my dear Calypso, for there is no shaper more skilled at stirring the clouds than I. By the time you return, those gardens will be thoroughly satiated. <laughs> With that, the shaper continues down the path. He resumes his whistling as he passes from sight. Cal shakes his head. That fool's overly impressed by his own abilities, he says. Trouble will come of it. Mark my words. Clips and nods, then turns to you. It's time you should be on your way, she says. The village elders often have tasks that require the help of rangers. I recommend that you seek them out on your, tra on your travels. I know also that Cordo would like some help dealing with the caustic mulcher that roams the woodlands. I'm not sure what he has in mind, but you can seek him out at Lone Tree Station if you're interested. Farewell! With that, Calypso and Cal disappear into the forest, leaving you to explore the valley on your own. What you do now is entirely up to you. You could, for example, spend time exploring the different path types to familiarize yourself with the flora and fauna, or you could travel to pivotal locations on the map and delve into the path deck to find people in need of assistance and missions to complete. Take your time. You will be called upon if there's an emergency. Now, you may end the day or continue playing. Hmm. Hmm. So, with this amount of... Well, you have an injury, right? Mm -hmm. I got a bunch of discarded cards and stuff. Would this all tidy up then? If we rest, if we camped? Well, yeah, so if you end the day, um, it'll like end the session, you'll pack up the game. Oh, okay. And then the next time you play, um, you'll set up a brand, brand new, whole new deck, okay. everything, new day. N new day, new you. Um, <laughs> and, and so even if you sat down and played again immediately after, right, you still go through the ritual, packing up the game, then going through setup in the new okay. day. So everything right. would kind of be reset with the, with the new day. All right. Um, or you can kind of keep playing and push your luck, see, yeah. like, you know, if you have a goal like, oh, we really want to get to Northern Outpost and, you know, like see what's up there, or like, hey, Calypso mentioned going back to Lone Tree, maybe we head that direction. Maybe we start on trying to lure out Quiet today. Yeah. And you, you think you have enough oomph left in your deck, you can choose to do that. Otherwise, you can kind of choose to call it. Um, I'll especially later in the game when things get hard, I'll often call it with some deck left, just because I know that like, I know you get kind of a sense of how much fatigue things take. And you kind of start to be like, all right, well, I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make it another area. I know, I know how this deck works. 
Um, <laughs> so, but right now, you guys are still kind of new, so okay. it's up to you whether you want to try to travel another area or two, try to find quiet, or what you want to do. Yeah, I think it's also important to note that you know, if you stop here, you'll start at the Golden Shore. Okay. So mm -hmm. if you wanted to like go to, back to Lone Tree, for example, you might travel away first, just so you could be one step closer yeah. to okay. where you wanted to go. So if you want to look at the map again. Yeah, bring that out one more time. <laughs> So you can see here at Golden Shore here, there's some tantalizing opportunities. You could go up to the Northern Outpost, oh, yeah. see what's going on up there. Uh, I think that's a cool spot, personally. Um, you can go over to Mount Nim, you go to Atrox Mountain, both pretty difficult spots. But <laughs> Yeah, you said that like it was inviting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could go to these places where you get jumped by lions. Uh, but if you wanted to go to Lone Tree, you know, that would be, a, mm -hmm. that'd, that'd be the direction you'd want to go. Cool. So we can set we, up for next time. I say we keep going. Yeah, let's keep going. So just to align all this in my head, we're still encountering Golden Shore, though, right? Or mm -hmm. we, yeah. yeah, you're you're at Golden. You'll have Shore. to travel away from Golden Shore. Okay. Yeah. So we have to. Yeah. All right. So yeah, yes. you, you'll you'll have to put progress on Golden Shore and complete it to then choose a path yeah. to travel to the next location. Golden okay. Shore is pretty cheer, yeah. chill, though. Yeah, let's do it. That sounds so, chill. Golden Shore. Yeah. yeah. It. It's maybe like second to Boulder Field as most chill locations. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sweet. So draw a path card, right? Uh, yeah. Lead what? Ranger draws a path card, and then and then we'll draw path cards. Yep. So this for the start of the round. Oh, there we hey, go. Hey, look at that, your old right, friend. So ambush. So who too? Yeah, it's a, you're at the it's the like the lake shore. Again. All the lake shore stuff. And then Evan draw one, and then Otters draw one. Nice. That's easy. Yeah, there we go. Tide nice. water. Look, at how, oh, look yeah. at how calm and quiet this place is. Yeah, except for that romper over there. <laughs> when does the weather come into play? Uh, I put another token on here. I don't know if I remembered to do it last turn or not. But anyway, there's two now. Once it goes up to three, it'll flip back over again. Every turn you do it. Yeah. Okay, cool. It does have a test on it. Um, if you're ever like starved for things to do for folk with focus, you could you can try to locate more shade from the yeah, sun yeah, and shade, add clouds yeah. to it to flip it back over so it stops fatiguing you. Yeah, it, cool. it wasn't really a good option uh, in your previous yeah. setup because of all the stuff that was going on here. But now that it's pretty clear, you could you mm. could do that. Yeah, you could maybe flip it over to stop suffering that fatigue. Yeah, okay. I might try to do that <laughs> since I've suffered all the fatigue from that thing. Okay. Um, I think, do uh, you want to go first? Mm. Sure. Sure. Mm. You said it's a pretty chill location. Yeah, so like, ultimately, if your goal is to just keep on traveling. Um, I kind of want to play my trowel. Yeah. I've been talking it up so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's really, it was really good against that Naya. You guys but... get this, uh, get their energy back? Oh, or not? Um, they they should have. I don't know. Did well. The last thing I did was I added to um, progress to Vera. Yeah, yeah. So then, so you you should get that back. Okay. You should have all your energy. Okay. Yeah. I think. So yeah, if your goal is to ultimately travel away, adding uh, progress to the location is probably what you want to work towards. Okay. If your goal is to lure quiet, you could uh, um, try to clear prey. Um, this isn't a great set to do it. And you're right, Andres. Yeah. Putting out equipment right now, is, is it's a good time to put out equipment because it's yeah. pretty chill. Okay. Put it out. And that's that, right? Mm-hmm. You're ready for okay. some gardening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm going to do this, but then I'm going to have to lose an, an equipment. Yeah. So I think I'm going to get rid of the spider pad gloves. Why did you have to lose one? Because there's these little pips in, um, you add them up, mm -hmm. you can only have a total of five equipment oh. in worth of pips. Okay. So currently I'm at seven, so i got to lose one. And just discards? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, so you can discard any equipped gear at any time you want. Uh, yeah. So that's that. Yeah, this is pretty nice, especially for a three focus, two fitness. You can mm -hmm. 
Your traversing machine. Yeah. <laughs> I normally run them in a three focus one fitness deck. Because like they let me get away with one oh, fitness, yeah. which mm -hmm. is otherwise pretty bad. Yeah. My turn? Yep. Okay, I, 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 I'm just going to do this. I kind of want to contemplate the rhythmic waves as they lap the glittering shoreline to soothe one fatigue for every two. I think. But if I want to add... So if I want to add progress, I'm going to traverse that? Yeah, yeah. So you, you spent your fitness. So you're, your fitness. Yeah, so you're not going to be traversing anyway. Okay, so I'll just do that. Yeah, I said. hang out. Yeah, wow. we contemplate three... Plus one. Nice. Awesome. So, oh, wow. That's I mean, a lot. Yeah, that worked out. I don't, I'll only have three, but... Nice. Cool. And the sun, well, you're going to take another one. Suffer <laughs> it's hot on the shore. Yeah. first, yeah. There is an exhausted predator. No, there isn't. Cool. Got some new stuff. I could just traverse right through this literal. Just take the fatigue. Uh, yeah, no, do it. That's what I would do. <laughs> I also want to recover fatigue, but I'm just going to take fatigue. Or <laughs> would I would I take fatigue by interacting with this one up here too? And not doing take it like it. You know, right. if, you, if you draw sun. Oh yes, from the literal. Yes, yeah. uh, the. The weather and the mission, if they ever have yep. tests on them, are along the way, or sorry, in the surroundings. So anything within reach and along the way is between you and the surroundings. Okay. Well, okay, I do want to traverse, but I'm going to do some other stuff real quick first. So um, you're, you're done, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to avoid the Luchinol. Cool. Um, so that and... Throw down these two. Oh wow! But yeah, three. You're really going for it. Yeah. You got it. Nice one. And yeah, I guess I only needed one. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're guaranteeing success. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So... The, the highest negative modifier in the deck is in minus two. So if you are uh, two or more above the threshold, you're basically guaranteeing success. Yeah. Yeah, but then you're also like committing a lot of resources yeah. to doing it. Yeah. Which... Totally. Uh, the okay. crests. Uh, that was the nothing. only one. Oh, I guess. Oh, yeah. Lure. Yeah, oh. but nothing. Yeah, nothing. nothing from that. All right, Anders. Okay. Since I can't add progress to that, I'm going to add this puffer crawler spores to this. Yeah. Nice. It's gonna take two. And how do you how do you set them out? Just like yeah, just put it underneath it. Yeah. Okay. So you remember that like it's there. Yeah. There okay. you go. Okay. Um, I'll spend my last focus to try to add <laughs> add a cloud to the uh, midday sun. Oh wait, the number of <laughs> shoot. <laughs> yeah, you keep playing those when you're yeah, out of uh, out of energy okay. in your thing. Well, um, I need you can two. Still, you can still do it. Uh, I guess yeah, you, I you just drew yeah, a plus one. Are there plus twos or just minus twos? Just just minus twos. Okay. Okay. Screw it. I'm just gonna traverse. So. Yeah, I'll just go all out. There you go. Ooh, four. Nice. <laughs> and the sun comes yeah, back no. to launch here. <laughs> of course. All right, four the on the sun. location. Then you suffer another fatigue. Yep. Man, that sun has been I know. brutal. Mm -hmm. Delicate skin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what are we looking at? Spend here? too much time indoors fine tuning fine. my equipment. <laughs> Nine. Yeah. That's, that's, that's not bad. That's good. Yeah. I mean, perfect day. <laughs> it's going to flip over. I'm going to. I've time. threaded the needle at like, like two cards left in my deck before, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, I think we've have we been forgetting to do honors as oh, shoot. fatigue yeah, his from his injury. injury yep. Yeah, we should remember to do that next time. Oh, when do I do that? When you have an injury each round, round, you'll take a fatigue. Yeah. Oh, wow. Equal to the number of injuries you have. <laughs> you can uh, recover or you can heal your wound right there. Wraps, wrap it in some kelp weed. Which, 
Which uh, you, Yeah, the fresh blue kelp weed. Oh. It's a focus test. Oh, cool. But if you pass, you add one harm to this feature and either heal one injury from a ranger or discard two from mm. a being. That's awesome. I need to do that. Because it's really been get, hurting me. Um, well, we've been forgetting. I know. <laughs> that was my joke. Okay. Um, I think there maybe be three, three more fatigue, or yeah, yeah least, two or three. Two or three. three. Yeah. So That's I need two. Nothing. I need two to get that, though, right? And I only have one. One effort to put. Mm. Yeah, that is true. Oh. So uh, unless you have some, uh, I do have one more, but I, it's a static sifter. Do I want that that bad? Mm. One what does it do? If you equip it after you add one or more harm to a flora, you may add one vittle to this gear. The vittle uh, suits to fatigue to a different ranger. Well, I guess yeah. if you spend the time to equip that first and then uh, go back at this, you could, you know, increase the potency of your of your test if you pass it. Wait, if like it's... yeah. So if this was in play already, mm -hmm. then. If you decided to try to heal your wound by uh, approaching this and passing, mm -hmm. then you can add a vittle to that, um, and then you can spend it on uh, soothing to fatigue on a ranger, so you or I. Hmm. But you have to play it first, and um, okay. you don't time. have the energy to do that, so. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so it might take time. Next round. Yeah. Yeah, definitely it would be helpful to play it as opposed to using it for its icon, I would say. Yeah. Okay. So is that the only reason icon you had in there, that on the stack cipher? That's yeah, that uh, is. Maybe I'll just use it to I mean Yeah, I'm just gonna use it to Remember. Remember. Alright. Yeah. You do have to well before you draw that, draw a challenge card because it is still a test. Ah uh, yes, yes. Uh, minus one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but you know, oh and then we got the so you suffer a fatigue. Two fatigue. Just right? one. Just one. What about? Oh, when when we rest, you'll take another one. Yeah. Yeah. From your injury. Oh, yeah. it's when you rest. Yeah. No, at the end of the round. Turn. Right. Right. Yeah. Every round. Yeah. Okay. Every turn. That would be. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what I, thought was, I think you did say. Did turn. I say turn? Yeah. yeah. We met round. I met okay. round. <laughs> Every round. Okay. Not so bad then. Yeah. If I said turn, I said I'm not that. Sorry to scare you. <laughs> yeah. That would be very very hard. Yeah. That would be. Hardcore mode. Yeah. That's Iron Man right there. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. He designed it. I can still connect with this, even though he's exhausted. Yep, you can. I could just try it, you know. Might be able to add a prey to our um yeah. to our mission. So I'm gonna do that. Cool. Let's see what happens. Zero. Okay, so two? Two mm -hmm. progress. Nice. Not bad. Mountain. Um, oh no! Uh, is it ex if this if it's exhausted? Does that does not happen? If there's a romping lutronol within reach, it escapes through the weeds. <laughs> yeah. Move it along the way. Yep. So Even you if it's it. exhausted. Yeah. Yep. Oh man. If it says ready, then or active. Or okay. Active. Sorry. So if it's up there, does it is that even a big deal? It's just uh, not there. like it, it's not in really. both. It's it's between. No, we can both. Both of you and the location now, and uh, each time they move within reach, they fatigue you. So um, its sun effect can cause it to pounce on you again. Uh, oh, because it'll do the, uh, the and ambush, ambush you. Only ambush if there's on. another romping neutral. Yeah, in play, so which I is mean, not right now. They're about to draw more path guys. <laughs> that's so. true. So midday sun and romping neutral could really. No, no, no. This is going gonna, away. That's though. gonna switch oh, over. That's right. It's okay. gonna switch over. Yeah. All right, okay. Are we gonna rest? Yeah, I think we should. <laughs> yeah, well, we have to, I guess. Yeah. All right. So take t suffer your fatigue this time for real, Andrew, right. from your injury. Okay. Wait, look at that. It's and a perfect. Then, day. <laughs> oh, perfect. Thank God. And then <laughs> this on exhaust. You each draw your ranger card. Perfect day on the golden shore. And then draw a path <laughs> card. No. Yeah. See, ambush. No. Tributary stream. Yeah, the classic. <laughs> All right. Mm. All right. Mm. Well, what am I doing now? Well, you guys have enough progress on Golden Shore where you could both do the focus test on Tributary Stream to polish it off if you wanted to. So that's not so yeah. bad. That's true. 
or I could attempt to soothe my fatigue mm -hmm. and then traverse from there. Certainly. Turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. You, you do have a couple loot trails between you and the location, but yeah. that's an option. You guys could bang this out super yeah. easy. <clears throat> okay, well, do you want to go first? Mm hmm. I haven't. Okay. I haven't stricken, stri striked anything with my <laughs> carbon forged trowel. Keep trying on that past tense there. <laughs> Wait, struck. But does that, yeah, does this affect this? No. Yeah, because it's not. Um, how do I know that? Just because I know that it's. Uh, well, so if you if you'll feature. read um, read the strike test. Um, strike out with your gardening tool to add one harm to a being. Okay. Gotcha. And so, yeah, the tributary stream is a feature, so you can't attack the stream. Gotcha. You could attack one of the Lutrinals, though. Well, you're going to attack those muckets, too, if you yeah. wanted. <laughs> <laughs> right, I wanted to kind of, I could soothe, right? Uh, just by eating the muckets with this test, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. she also can do that here. And oh. that would do double duty for you. Soak your feet. Um... A lot of different options. I know. That's my best option. I love this kelp weed art. <laughs> yeah, it's super cool. Yeah. I yeah. love the surface of the water. That is really great. Did you do that, Evan? I did, yeah. Did. Good job. Okay, I will uh, soak, though I'm not that excited about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Are you just going to go you for two? Soothe fatigue. Huh? It'll soothe fatigue, yeah. I just have so many cards to already think about. I don't care that much right now. Um, you do need to clear it as an obstacle in order to get out of here. So, you don't. Oh, you obstacles. That obstacles you. also stop you from traveling. So, yeah, you're gonna wanna. So if I get my token there, mm -hmm. if we get them both there, then we can clear it. Let's. We, yeah. Let's go for that. Yep. Okay. Then I want to keep some spirit for that. So, I'm just gonna. Do Are it. you sure? I don't know. You could draw that minus one. It's true. Let's see. I think almost you're... certainly. Why? How, I will how, say how do you know certainly. that? Is you can just you can, so you can look to see what's there, and there's a zero plus one zero zero. So like, it's not for sure, but your Those odds are good ones your odds are improving. Right, right. From drawing that minus one. Okay, I'll just play. Let me get anything. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna use uh, this then. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Now watch you draw some minus two. <laughs> Zero. Oh, see. See you guys. Come on. <laughs> what a waste. Okay. <laughs> All right. I didn't say anything, but I wanted you to not commit anything just because I love the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. That's kind of my instinct usually. Okay. And oh. So nothing there. Oh, wait. Yes. If there's there two there. active predators, exhaust no. them. No, not two no, active. Only one, yeah. Only this one. There are other, there are other active. It, but it doesn't. So read that out loud. So if there are, yeah, just read it in my head. <laughs> this is, I forgot we're being recorded here. If there are other active romping lutrinals, exhaust each of them and this being. Uh, even if they're. So this one's not active because it's in Evan's zone. Oh, so, so. it fits there. Yeah. Or mine. Gotcha. Oh, right, right. Or if Evan had gotten that, then yeah. it would activate. Cool. Okay. Done. Well, I'm going to meet you there with, with that. Mm, nice. Or maybe I should save this for the Traverse. No, I got... You're fine. Trekking poles. That's right. I don't need that. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to see what happens. Uh, I'm also going to absorb... Um, oh, the fatigue from fatigue. the illusion. Nice. And I got plus one. Nice. All right. So you join him there, and that clears it. And the other effect okay. of that test is that you add one progress to the location as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. nice. Yeah. So the effect of the test is that you add one progress, right? And then go through your mountain effects. Okay. Um... Add an additional? Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. And there, you're there. If there's an active predator other than a romping lutrinal exhausted. There's not. Uh, okay. 
if there is a romping luchinol within reach, it escapes through the weeds along the way. I just kind of comp- <laughs> consolidated <laughs> that that narrative text into my own <laughs> form formation. All right. Um, well, we got enough progress. We can. I kind of want to try to um, to uh, clear these guys. Yeah. to Add to that since I've we got could. my trowel. You could strike out. They're pretty weak, you know. Yeah. Right. I could try to connect with this one. Although that goes against my character, since I would sooner throw my greaves at it. <laughs> but. Are we on the uh, moment of desperation yeah. against all creatures I think the I whole s- game? I plan? think I spent those. That's a, that's a fun card. And I would love to be able to continually throw my greaves at things. But. Yeah, I think <laughs> moment of desperation was one that came out of the original vertical slice that we demoed with the Kickstarter. So that one, that one's made it all the way since nice. the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was that was a card that was designed by Brady. Okay. And I remember, man, man, I can't remember what placeholder name I had for that, but I remember going through and reading his designs yeah. and giving names to things. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I think I named that one Gear Whack What? That's, <laughs> yep, that, that is what the name was. And I was like, what is this name as I'm going through? <laughs> so, it got a much better name than it than once had. I think you were saying gear whack, like, like what? what? Yeah. But, like, I, I kind of read it as, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is this card name? <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you, Brady. it three effort to striking this Lutronol. Nice. But not uh, in a nonviolent way. <laughs> uh, okay. So... For every two effort, I get one. I add one to that, right? Yep. Oh, so if you committed your final energy, you could have put two on there, but... That's true. I was kind of saving it for that one, but that that didn't make sense. If I could turn back time. So, (laughs) um, one other thing you can do is uh, take a look at your puffer crawler spores on the... uh... Yeah, I can exhaust that. If I add harm to that being, I can exhaust it and attach this card to it. Nice. Right. Yeah. And then what, what, does that, that. what does that card do if it's attached to it? The attached being gains the flora trait. So what then read your mean? first thing on the carbon forge trowel. Um, add or remove harm from a flora equal to your effort. So you can like basically turn him into a plant, and then that enables you to use your like plant... Interact with him as if, as if he's a plant. Oh, that's pretty <laughs> cool. I like that. The puffer crawlers is, is, are these kind of weird fungus things that live in the, the trees and absorb people. So you have some spores, and you're basically <laughs> infecting this poor Lutronol mm-hmm. with some... That's awesome. Puffer that. crawler spores. I love that. And then we've got the sun. Okay. There's another romping Lutronol in play. Was he exhausted? Yep. Exhausted, yeah. There's another romping Lutronol in Play it frolics among the reeds. <laughs> Move it within reach. So within my reach. Yep. Yeah. I was petting that guy. <laughs> I'm connecting with him. <laughs> Sorry. And they have ambush, so when they move within reach of oh, you, you uh, take a oh. fatigue. Wow. All right. And then. Oh, if there's an exhausted predator, ready it. Uh-huh. Exhaust this being. So, would that... Be mm-hmm. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay. The world comes alive. <laughs> Invigorated wow. by those muckets. <laughs> okay. The smell of the muckets. The muckets are fun. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if we were doing custom episode yeah. names, muckets are fun is a good episode That's name. That's true. <laughs> Uh, well, okay, I, dogs. All right, I'm done. I could try to add some more progress to that Luchinol. This one? Uh, the other one. I can't do anything with that one. I don't have a gardening tool. <laughs> oh, right, right. <laughs> but this one, right? And I could just um, mm-hmm. go. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to commit other than that. But I'm going to try to connect with it. Oh, oh man. Oh, okay. Well, crest triggers. Um, that doesn't do anything. 
If they're... It, I think it does. No, wait, never mind. I keep forgetting that oh. this one's in honors zone. Are you trying to connect with this one? Yeah. Oh, then it yeah. would, yep. Oh. Because everything here is now active for you. If there are two active predators, exhaust them. Return one set aside. Oh, yeah, we don't have that. So this is exhausted? Yep. And this one, too. Okay. Cool. Well, that's it for the crest, then. Eternal. Um, okay, I'm going to do my trowel. You can garden that Lutrell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does that look like? Um, That's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you feel bad about getting the puffer crawler spores on it and now we're trying to like scrape them off out of its fur. <laughs> and then it'll forgive me. That is not away. even the close closest to the most horrifying thing you can do with puffer crawler spores <laughs> yeah. in this game. Yeah. We'll let you discover that on your own yeah. if it comes to it. Wow. <laughs> Try to find the most horrifying thing you can do with puffer crawler spores. It is in the demo, so if you oh. can find it, leave it in the comments. comments. Has no one found it yet? I don't think anybody. The po the playtesters play -testers found it. The playtesters found it. Yeah. Playtesters who know don't spoil it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, make sure you bold that text in the comments because we have to sift through a lot of people calling out errors that we've made. <laughs> you know, so. All right. Um... You can still try to treat this injury. I kind of just want to try to yeah, garden the Lutrinol. Garden the hell out of it. it. Yeah. But I just, just playing one. Just playing one? Yeah. Really? You're the one who kept one. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, don't, I think I had a different thing in mind. Okay. Uh, what does that do? Add progress or? Harm. Harm. Adds harm. At least uh, you can add it's a equal to your efforts, so it's yeah, easier. It's better. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's way easier than using so as a I'm weapon. Just, I just don't want negative one. Correct. Is there a negative two? Yeah. No. Yep. Yes. Okay. A single negative two in the oh, whole deck. It won't happen. Whole deck? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Just, it won't <laughs> happen, he says confidently. There we Actually, go. I just drew it last round. See you later. <laughs> All right. So this goes over here? Yep, it attaches to the... Yep, put it over there. Or set it aside, I think so. it says. And this goes discard? Uh, it goes to discard, back to yeah. okay. Your discard, yep. Use, you just use it once. Yeah. Any attachments go back to their discards once uh over here, so once they're used. Very cool. What does this thing do? Soothe to fatigue. Pry it open. And savor its contents. Yeah. Let's do it. Going through. I'm gonna pry that thing open. See what happens. Alright. Um, add one harm. Come on. Um, to this being in suit two fatigue. Yes. Did you have to play that much to do that? No, I just... You just wanted to make sure yeah. you'd succeed? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since this scales off the number of focus, that, that you put four towards eating those buckets. Oh yeah, I didn't, yeah. It's like on Andrew said, I never read that bit. This <laughs> pairs with earlier today when you were uh, um, to go that hard wrenching when, it open when you guys needed to escape the, the naiad and like yeah. you made the plan to go to the stream and you're like, no, I'm eating yeah, these know, buckets. <laughs> but you finally, you finally ate the I buckets. I did it finally. You achieved your true mission of eating delicious mucket meat. <laughs> hmm. I have a lot of what do you call it energy? Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. energy. Um hmm. I would like to get rid of this one too, but I don't know. There's wait, could strike it? Could strike that thing. You could try. It you wouldn't do much though, because it's a one for two. Yeah, it's, since you're only getting one harm for every two effort. I might have some here. No, it's true. You, if you have a bunch of uh, conflict to dump, I do, and I just I don't I haven't really been close to even using this card, so I'm just gonna use it. But you need to get a four to get the two harm you need to, yeah. to get rid of that Lucian off. After you succeeded, connect his head. Sorry, <laughs> just mumbling to myself. <laughs> I'm looking at this following the footsteps cards. I have two of these cards. Yeah. After you succeed at a connect test, add progress to a feature equal to your effort. That's pretty cool. Could come in handy. Yeah, in this situation, though, 
you don't really need it. Yeah, like look yeah. at your look at your deck. You don't have many cards left, right? Yeah. So you probably know that when you travel, this next time you travel, you're probably just going on end, end the day because you probably don't have enough cards to do a whole another location. Cool. I love so it. So that means uh, use them while you got them. That's right. So I'm gonna go buck wild on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and use both both of these following footsteps. <laughs> just charge at that Lutronar wow. with travel in hand. <laughs> so I could I could kill it in one here. <laughs> Am I guaranteed? Uh, no. no. You need like one more to guarantee it. Yeah. One more Do energy. I? Yeah. Do you have another con? There's only one minus two in the deck. What are the chances? That's right. Can you go harder? Hey. Hey. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. so five, right? Yep. So yep. Yeah. I did. Yeah. But it's oh, it's only two. It only yep. has two. Yeah. For a threshold. Never mind. Yeah. All right, nice. there's another one. We, we put it up here. Yeah, how sure. much do you need to lure out quiet? Five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bad news, yeah. Those, those don't stick around <laughs> to the new day, so. These don't? No, sorry. Oh. What are we even doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, we just hate them. Lutronals. We hate them. Just, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I sorry, them. I should have maybe warned you about that uh, like five minutes ago. But, but it felt good, you know. It did, it was a good, good moment. <laughs> it was, good. It was a nice moment. Our next red sack, Lutronals, with my It was cool. Um... I mean, can we keep getting beings out? Do we want to do that? Yeah, if we rest, we will. Um, I'm going to try to heal this. Does that make for a boring? You could. You could try. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. Is there enough? I don't know if there's enough in the, this path deck to confront quiet. No, yeah, it depends if the, if the valley set gives you something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but like, are they going to, if like Umbra no, comes in? There's if, no, there's no. Old right buddy, old buddy clicker nope. pops out or something. Oh, God, I bet we have a, the next time we travel, um, we'll be able to have a better chance because we'll be going through the woods. Uh, if we decide to go to North Outpost, we can travel, right? So what if we travel before well, we end the day? I'm gonna try to heal your wound first. And then, okay. Unless that just goes away. It way. will. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, yeah. it will. When yeah. We, injuries are not persistent. When we travel, no. When we. Between, yeah, between like to the new day, your your injuries will heal overnight. But if we're gonna still keep traveling to get more uh, luring material, mm -hmm. then maybe you could still do this. We didn't, we might not have enough steam to really. Mm. Yeah, how many cards do you have left in your deck? I have seven. Mm. Is it over once the deck is gone? Even if you have a bunch yep. in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. How much? Uh, how many do you have, Anders? Five. Okay. I think. We could try. <laughs> you have two more rounds, effectively. Because Iron's are going to lose a card for the fatigue and draw one. Unless they heal him. Yeah, unless they, they heal him. Yeah. Yeah. But if you, okay. if, if you fatigue out instead of ending the day while traveling, you won't be able to swap in that uh, fishing rod you got from Artel uh, oh, into yeah. your decks. Oh, yeah, too tired. Because you, you can only do that if you end the day by camping. And also, we can't split that up between us, can we? Uh, I think you can. Mm -hmm. It just... It might be better if one of us doubles down on it. Eh, Maybe. It's up to you. There's um I actually ran this awesome artificer deck during testing where my goal, like I used pocketed belt pouch to search for gear. And so I tried to run one of every gear. Oh, so that cool. like I just had like a whole deck of options and then I would get pocketed belt pouch out and then just search <laughs> for whatever gear I needed to suit the situation. Sweet. So I liked kind of modifying my deck to run singleton. Uncle Pop. Uncle Pockets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> I did not help you. Wow. I'm wow. drawing a lot of those. You yeah, are you drawing are. a lot Damn. of those. I'm a cooler. Okay. Um, was that a mountain? Or was it was that? a crest. Crest. Oh, so okay. hmm. Well, we could just camp. Yeah, we could just camp. Or we'll travel and camp. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to travel before you camp. Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna choose the new location you're traveling to, and then like then you choose to camp, and then you'll record the location you were going to. Well, okay. Here's the thing. At the end of your day. Um, I think we both had our fill of Lake Shore. Yeah. Uh, Northern Outpost. Or Lakefront. So yeah, we should go to Northern Outpost, and if we want to circle back to Lone Tree to maybe talk to that, um, talk to Cordo, uh, see what sort of info he has. Mm -hmm. That might be kind of cool. Yeah. Sounds great. All right. So you guys are going to travel to the Northern Outpost? Yeah. Via that woods path? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then uh, do you want to camp or do you want to keep going and, and keep trying? Can keep trying. What happens if we... 
So if, if you fatigue out instead of camping, can't do that. You won't be able to swap, customize your deck between days. Mm. So it's, I, I usually recommend people just camping. It also like, I don't know, like it's it's a nice end to the day. I you know like, Good but thoughts. yeah. Do you have thoughts, Andrew? I'm trying to keep. Uh, I, I just have meta knowledge burning in my brain right now that is clouding my clouding my <laughs> opinion. So I don't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Whether I. Feel like maybe we, there's a chance we could encounter a very dangerous thing, potentially, and we're just not prepared for it. Mm. Without camping first, possibly, maybe. You think that's it? I'm trying to I think of what meta knowledge you're thinking about. You'll, it'll come to you. Okay. <laughs> it'll sure. come to you. We discussed it at one point during my play test. Well, I noticed that given he was my kinda, experience, and I was like, ah, he was kind of like, oh, I thought yeah. that he was kind of thinking maybe don't camp. That's, oh. what I, that's what I sensed from his meta knowledge. Well, we can keep no. going. It's not that. It's not that. No, okay. it's, a, it's actually not over the decision to camp, I don't think. No, oh, it's not. Okay, I guess it's not. Well, let's camp then. Okay. Okay. All right. Camping. Right. Northern Outpost and camp? Yeah. All right. So put the Northern Outpost there. And then since you're going between Golden Shore and Northern Outpost, you'll put the woods mm -hmm. in the path terrain. Oh, and then uh, one other thing we forgot to list is make sure to put Artel's Vaulting Rod in your rewards. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is this also you can know next time you set up to play? Mm -hmm. Yep. What you're doing? Yeah, so uh, this way you can kind of track all of this progress and all the customization you do, but we don't have to modify any game components. So you can play and replay the campaign as many times as you'd like. And then the last thing to do is I usually just kind of fill in these bubbles or cross them off to mark that that day is done. Day one complete. Yep. And then the next time, mm -hmm. yeah. you'll have to come up. You have to come with ranger names. Oh, okay. I, I said I was gonna heckle you guys about your ranger names, I got, and I never did. I got one. I'll name him after a favored um, D and D character that I I lost. So my ranger's name is Renzo. Renzo. Yeah. Nice. That's a pretty Star Warsy name. That's yeah. pretty good. Is that two words or? Uh, well, I guess. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Renzo Frendo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to put you on the spot by inventing a name, but that may be more. You can wait until next. You, can wait you yeah, haven't yeah, disclosed that to me. Yet. Maybe after at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Of yeah. the. Hmm? Yeah. You're wrapping this episode. Yeah. Up. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. They can. They can hear us. <laughs> <laughs> They're right there. Are we, are we rapping? <laughs> <laughs> Whispering in your ear. <laughs> sure. I think we're. I think we're. Wrapping Just dub up something over like that How's matches that? up with the lip movements. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I covered my mouth. Well, I was feeling like, oh, I'm finally starting to like, get this. Well, it's good. Next, flow. Time, next time, nice. you'll, you'll be good to go. Friend you'll take me. a few steps Friend back. Friend <laughs> Rock this game. Well, that's awesome. Well, thanks, right. you guys. Yeah. 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 Cool. And yeah, thank you for playing. I feel like that was a pretty successful first day. Yeah, absolutely. It really helped, that, it, it helped that you found High Pim Pot right off the bat, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to spend a bunch of time searching through the deck at Lone Tree Station, coming across, like, a Caustic Mulcher or something. Mm -hmm. um, and that, like, I think started you on the right foot. And then you kind of got the right sequence of people at White Sky where you really, like... Mm -hmm. And then you, you had that bing-bang-boom of, like, success upon leaving White Sky. So, mm -hmm. all in all, yeah. like, I feel like that was a really, really good first day. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And it, it's still kind of tricky to feel comfortable making decisions like camping when I don't know if having seven cards left is really, really bad yet, you know? Because mm -hmm. it hasn't, you know, all my solo plays, it hasn't really, I've, I was playing very conservatively, so. Um, I would typically push it if really? it were me in this situation, especially with uh, a perfect day in play. If it was raining on you, then I, seven is... It gets kind of pushing it. Really? Yeah, perfect the, day is a little bit. That's a good point. A fully charged perfect day right now too. You have three rounds of clouds. Like you're in a pretty good position to keep rolling if you want. Mm. But given that you're both kind of newer, um, and you're going to be dipping back into some slight, like not hard content, but mildly harder content. Um, I felt like it was a safer way than yeah. to end our first day on a, a downer. Or I think so too, especially like uh, the only mission in play right now is is the lure mission, and you need to get so many. Prey animals cleared, 
uh, it would have been it would have been pretty challenging to get all those out, then get quiet out, mm -hmm. and then yeah. That's, yeah, that'd be a lot. Mm -hmm. That'd be a lot. It'd be pretty pretty challenging. I think we we could find some prey in the woods. I was into that mission though, man. Oh, well, it's not. It hasn't gone. I mean, we'll just have it's to gone, get right. No, 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 no. This... The mission, the mission will stick around. Yeah. You, oh, but you have the, that the progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The progress will go away, but it's okay. In the woods, you'll have a better chance of completing yeah. it anyway. And the lure mission is written down on here. Um, should oh, be. Oh, yeah, we didn't. So, uh, Evan, you can write that right there, there. When you gain the mission, write it down. So, yeah. write lure quiet lure in parentheses. Right. Are these things that people will need to like make photocopies of? Uh, we've got one on the back. Of so you write in like yeah, so they could photocopy this, but we all small also have a printer friendly version of it on the website. That yeah, we can use. And I think I'm positive people will just create their own yeah. tracking things, be it with Google Sheets or apps. Of, yeah, so there'll be an, I'm sure there'll be an, there might be an app already that allows you to do this. Yeah, yeah, I think Davi handmade one that uh, works in TTS, oh. just as interactive. I think he shared it on the fan Discord recently, nice. so if you're interested in that. Yeah. yeah, it's like one of those things where uh, at a certain point I was like, man, do we even give people character sheets anymore? I remember having that conversation years ago, because uh, immediately someone's just going to come up with a better way of tracking it anyway. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Uh, but we did the obligatory thing, and it's right there for you yeah, to use yeah. if you want to preserve it. I if you're like one of those people who likes to, to use the official. to use your to actually just write on the components you get, uh, this is this is great for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. some people do that. <laughs> but yeah, good work, guys. Yeah, um, I know it's like I know it's a lot, Anders, initially for somebody who doesn't play too many games. Um, yeah. And one thing that Rangers does that a lot of other cards games doesn't is it like. A lot of other card games will give you a singular goal and a lot of different ways to accomplish that one goal, but everything kind of comes back to that. Rangers is all about kind of embracing that open world spirit of giving you lots of different options, mm -hmm. which can be a little intimidating at first as you try to like, you're balancing how to play the game, but also like, you know, which of these multiple things do I do? Mm -hmm. And so like, mm -hmm. um, the more you play, the more you'll kind of get used to that and like be able to kind of make those meta decisions as you're as you're rolling with the card play. Yeah, I felt like it was kind yeah. of clicking, starting to click for you here. Starting to yeah. click, yeah. yeah. Last episode in this one, you're gonna see me just looking lost and anxious. By the end, <laughs> I hope I look like I'm having fun. I was having fun, but the anxiety might be <laughs> yeah most apparent. But I, I feel also, like I feel like last episode we, we we hit a moment where you were incredibly self conscious that you were gonna embarrass yourself or something. <laughs> yeah. You did fine. You did fine. I, I rarely feel like a fish out of water, but this this is like bringing back old memories. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, when the nerds beat you up. <laughs> yeah. The nerds beat me up. Um, no, it's ama it's amazing though. I love it. I love it. I can't wait till it feels uh, co comfortable to me. But anyway. Yeah. Sweet. Closing out the show. We'll see you next time. We're going to keep playing for how many episodes? Uh, well, we'll see. Well, yeah. I think we'll, we'll keep it rolling. I think until... Uh, maybe deep, like deep a, spoilers. A spoilery spot. Yeah, there, there's kind of like... Uh, even the biscuit basket mission we haven't isn't in the demo, so right. that that alone was something that people have not seen yet. Um, I think we have one other thing that people haven't seen yet that it's probably okay for them to see. But after that, we might enter spoilery territory. Mm -hmm. So we may have a, a, a couple more episodes in us, depending on how long days take. Yeah. Um, well, there's a there's an event right here that yeah. this would probably this is will probably stop before then. So I think, mm. but I'm we'll see sure. how far we get before you know the game. Is in cool. people's hands, which you know uh, won't be that. By the time this posts, it won't really be that long until yeah. it gets out there. So we may stop, but going. then we'll. I think we can keep going um, shortly thereafter. Yeah, That's once the once the game's hands. out, we can like start dipping into yeah, more spoilery we'll territory. Yeah, the whole thing. But I think if we if we need to fill some time in there too, I think it'd be like I said. I think um, I guess a couple episodes ago at this point uh, that we could just do some playthroughs where we're just exploring different path sets and trying to accomplish stuff 
Go to the swamp. Yeah, go to the swamp. <laughs> take, take, take everyone on a tour of the swamp. I think that could be fun. We're gonna need some upgraded decks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we could, uh, you know, we could do that, and um, that, that's we can continue to play the game in, in that way um, without spoiling any any uh, campaign stuff. So we'll uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed turning a. Flaming Lutronol. Roaming Lutronol. <laughs> into... <laughs> Romping. <laughs> the Flaming Lutronol's in the lava zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta wait for that one. Into a uh, spore ball and, far and uh, farming him. <laughs> and being a biscuit delivery boy. Yeah. I didn't, never thought that I would be a biscuit delivery boy in this game. And I loved that. Yeah, you did a great job. Okay. Should we go get some Cheddar Bay biscuits? Yeah, let's do it. See you later, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>